Timber surprised everyone by displaying what can only be described as an extra special talent. Here's CTV's Jacqueline Foster to explain. This is Timber, a lovable huskador, half lab, half husky, with an extra special talent. Tim seems to have the ability to predict a few minutes in advance when I'm about to have an episode. John Percy first discovered Timber's amazing ability a little more than a year ago. He's on disability because of an undiagnosed neurological condition and was working in his recording studio at home. He just walked in and started being very persistent in his, in his nudging me with his nose and then he would paw at me. John says Timber started barking and running partway up and down the stairs. And as soon as I got up, it was, oh, I'm not feeling right. And uh, I just looked at the dog and I said, you know this. And he's starting to get very anxious that I start moving. John got up to the top of the stairs and says Timber alerted his wife, Brenda. He made it to a coach before suffering a seizure. Oh, this is spooky. It is. It's phenomenal. Brenda Hodnott says her husband had heard of dogs having this sort of ability before, but she was a little more skeptical. It made absolutely no sense. I thought it was a fluke. I thought it was, okay, this is a one-time thing. It was only when it happened a second time and then a third time. And the couple says Timber is spot on and has never been wrong. This neurologist says there is research in the area. And so it's recognized that there are two types of dogs, seizure response dogs and seizure alert dogs. The response dogs react to the seizure and try to help, where it's believed the alert dogs, like Timber, can predict the seizure before it strikes. Dr. Weaver admits seizure response dogs are well documented, while the alert dogs are a little more controversial and open to debate. As for how the dogs can sense seizures at all? Has there been some chemical abnormality uh, resulting in a sense of the dog because of their uh, height sense of uh, uh, ability to smell picked up on? All of these have been suggested, none have been proven to date. What makes the story even more special is Timber's past. It's believed he was abandoned, lost in the woods. He was taken to the SPCA after being picked up, running at large. He was pretty underweight when we got him, um, kind of shy at first. Tara Cameron works at the SPCA. She says Timber formed a bond with John and Brenda from day one. He actually had kennel cough when they were interested in him, and they had to wait for him to get better in order to take him home. And they would come in almost every day and spend time with him, and they just developed such a love for one another. Cameron says people tend to underestimate shelter dogs because of their background. Not John and Brenda. They've now adopted two dogs from the SPCA. Here we have a dog that we rescued from the SPCA who was doing all this for us. We're very lucky. Timber's story has even caught the attention of this pet magazine. He'll be featured in an upcoming issue. But despite his uncanny canine abilities, it's the comfort he brings to this family that means the most. Jacqueline Foster, CTV News, Lower Saxville, Nova Scotia.